Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Today is the Independence Day of Western Armenia. An archaeological disaster has occurred in Mersin of Western Armenia. Vartad or village of Artsakh today in the community they live and create by face. Azerbaijan dictated by Turkey is trying to dismantle the mechanism for the settlement of Artsakh conflict. Azerbaijan has built a canteen at a Kanaj drum in Shushi. Agriculture and cattle breeding in Van are experiencing a big crisis. Today is Franz Dick's Memorial Day. Let's get to know the historical sites of Western Armenia, Arkni. Pogos Nubar Pasha presented a speech at the event of Versailles of February 26 and formed a government on May 15, 1919. It was officially recognized by the Russian decree on June 19, 1920. The efforts of Pogos Nubar Pasha on May 15, 1919 created the government of the United Armenian. The authorities of Western Armenia today, as it is known, are a continuation of the state of Armenia recognized in 1920, which became independent from Russia on June 11, 1918 and then from the Republic of Armenia on the territory of the Republic of Armenia. Western Armenia was de facto deliberately recognized on June 19, 1920, under the following conditions. On the basis of this governmental formation, on June 27, 1920, the main secretariat of the peace event advised the chairman of the Armenian national delegation that the Supreme Council at its session on June 19, 1920, adopted the following two decisions. The government of Armenia state to be recognized as a de facto government, their recognition does not predetermine the capabilities of the state. Artsakh Nakhichevan Javak, the current Caucasian Armenian Republic, Cilicia and Western Armenia were part of the state of Armenia. A chrome deposit waste pool has exploded on the territory of Toroslar country, Mersin province of Western Armenia. Although fortunately there are no victims or injured at a place of the land site, what happened is an environmental disaster. Despite the fact that for five days the waste from the chrome deposit has been mixed into the Delichai river and threatens the animals of the river and its surrounding, no statements have been made from the authorities about the disaster. If waste gets into the sea, the health of people in the region is in serious danger. However, the authorities are silent, which is unacceptable. This approach of the state, which is the result of the plundering of the environment, must change. Western Armenia condemns any illegal activity on this territory that leads to damage, destruction of natural and cultural centers or to an archaeological catastrophe. The Vartadzor community of Askeran region of Artsakh have 254 inhabitants. This was stated by the headman of Vartadzor Samvel Sarajan. After the war, nine families settled in the village. The apartments provided to them have been renovated. The school has 90 students. There are about 60 preschool age children in the village, but they don't have a kindergarten which is needed too. The community center and medical center operate in poor housing condition. The banquet hall is built by the efforts of the villagers. Inter Communal roads are well maintained, but a road connecting the community with the highway is not. The headman presented saying that a village is gasified, provided with electricity and water supply. Speaking about the employment of the population, the head of the community said that about 95 hectares of gardens are about 450 hectares of land remained under enemy control. However, residents confidently overcome all obstacles and prefer to live and create in their homeland. Azerbaijan dictated by Turkey is trying to dismantle the existing mechanism for the settlement of the Azerbaijan Artsakh conflict. This was stated by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh, David Babayan, commenting on a statement of the President of Azerbaijan regarding the OSCE Minsk Krug and a statement of the permanent representative of the Russia to the OSCE Alexander Lukashevich that the trio of the OSCE Minsk Group co chairs cannot visit Artsakh. The Azerbaijanis have turned the adjacent building to the territory of St. Hovanes Magartic Church, known as Kanat Sham, into a canteen. A video was published about this on one of the Azerbaijani Telegram channels. The published video showed that a building where one could buy icons earlier is now conventionally occupied for organizing banquets. The fate of the church itself, whose doom was completely destroyed during the war, is still unknown. 
Climate change is the biggest problem in the world that has been talking about lately, and Western Armenia and Van are going through the most dry period of recent years. The sphere of agriculture and cattle breeding, deeply affected by the drought, is facing serious problems. The crisis of fuel and fertilizers in recent years has also negatively affected this area, and sufficient support and increased incoming cost of the reason that Van farmers will once again leave production. The constant growth in coming expenses in the agricultural and the livestock city of one, the crisis of fuel and fertilizers continue to be the biggest obstacle in agriculture production. 15 years ago, on January 19, 2007, the son of Western Armenia Kastat Nabola Armenian, founder and editor-in-chief of the newspaper Agos, Hernan Tink was killed in Kastat Nabol. He was killed in daylight at the entrance of the additional office of the newspaper Agos by the shot of Turkish nationalist Ogun Samast. The whole of humanity has once again witnessed the anti-Armenianism of Turkish nationalist ideas and its consequences. Of course, the representatives and democratic society raised their voice to protest against the crime committed, demonstrating their solidarity and support for the Armenian people. Nevertheless, an adequate response was not given to the state level to the murderer and the crime committed. It is clear that a criminal did not organize this crime alone. Moreover, he was sponsored and guided by the state. Nevertheless, Turkey, having openly proved this genocidal and anti-Armenian policy, once again faced the reproach of the world. Western Armenia, condemning the murder and its organizers, remembers and highly preserved the vivid memory of her aunt Ding. Arkni Fortress town in Pahnatum province of Tsok province of Western Armenia, on the top of a difficult to reach mountain rising on the left bank on the Parin River. In 1051, Prince Harpik, the son of Habel, together with the brothers David, Levon, and Constantine, successfully raised the Byzantine army in the fortress of Arkni. The Seljuk Turks captured and significantly destroyed Arkni. In 1555, it passed to Ottoman Turkey. Later, it was included in the Tigran Akert province. At the beginning of the 20th century, the population population was about 3,000 people engaged in agriculture, cattle breeding, crafts and trade. They also had a church. Above Arkni, on and Rog, the Ark Monastery of St. Astvazadzin was preserved. Most of the Armenians of Arkni died in 1915 during the genocide committed against Armenians. The survivors migrated to different countries. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.